Today we're doing a bit of an experiment. I have four of these boomerangs, but they have considerable differences. First, we're gonna start off with this one. It's just the shape of the boomerang and it has no leading or trailing edge, no airfoil. What I mean by airfoil is something like this, where you have a leading, a defined leading edge that's rounded off and a trailing edge. This is what generates lift and this is what causes the boomerang to return. So this one has nothing. Um, then we're gonna move on to this one where I rounded off a leading edge and then I gave it a tiny bit of a taper here on the trailing edge. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and then we're gonna try this one. It has a nice defined trailing edge, but no leading edge. It's blunt. We're gonna see the differences of airfoils. And then finally, to fin finish it off, we're gonna try this one, just regular boomerang, regular leading edge and trailing edge. So let's try it. All right, so we start off with this one with no airfoil, just blunt edges. I don't think it's going to return, but here is science. We try. Oh, what the heck? I think that was the wind. <laughs> that was very surprising. Holy cow. Let's try that again. No airfoils. Look at these edges. Blunt. Square. Nothing. Let's try it again. I'm also just as surprised as you are. It like wants to turn. Wow, interesting. All right, you're seeing science in the field. I did not expect that at all. I didn't even try this before I even recorded that. That was surprising, interesting. All right, next one. We try this one with a bit of a rounded leading edge and a bit of a taper here on the trailing edge on all three wings. So let's see how it flies. <sighs> nice. It's returning, the wind's pushing it, but I would call that a successful boomerang. I just need to throw it a little bit more against the wind. All right, adjusting my throw. Let's do it again. Nice. Oh, that flies great. Right to me. I would say that's a returning boomerang. You don't need that much of an airfoil. Next one, we have a blunt leading edge and a nice trailing edge. I think this one's gonna return, no problem. Oh, it runs out of juice, too much drag. Let's try that again, I am surprised by those results. It generates a ton of drag and just dies completely. Look at that. We're going from no leading edge to a nice rounded leading edge and a nice trailing edge. Let's see how it flies. This is a normal boomerang. Uh, a lot of wind. <laughs> I need to adjust my throw, but plenty of lift. It even hovers at the end. Let's try that again. Lighter throw and adjust it for the wind. Nice. Caught it. That was our little experiment. What are your thoughts? Comment below. Were you surprised by any of the results? Um, I definitely was by this one, the one with no edges, the one we tried at the beginning. I don't know if it was the wind that maybe was pushing it back or the gyroscopic precession because of the rotation of the boomerang or maybe a combination of both, but I did not expect that. I thought it was just going to fly straight. So anyways, comment your thoughts.